everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, I'm going to show you how you can convert all of your tube paints into a portable uh, set of pan paints. So these are watercolors because that's what I like to use. And I picked up this portable palette at my local art store. I'm going to take it out. And you can see that it has a closing case here. There's a nice section that I can use to place my um, brushes when I'm going to close it up. And then there's all of these small sections along here where you can put uh, different paints. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill each of these sections with a paint color. And I'm going to use generally this color scheme that I have uh, established from when I did the color chart. And I'm just going to make my way along from one end to the other laying out my colors, starting with Payne's Gray and making my way this way. Um, and what we're just going to do, actually I think I'll start with black, because I do have this lamp black. And what we're going to do is, I'm just going to move myself in camera here. And so you just open up your paint, and then select the, uh, the section that you'd like to put your paint in. And then all you have to do is squeeze it until you fill the inside. Because the great thing about watercolors is that when they dry, they're not dried up. They're just dry. When we add water to them later, they'll um, become usable again. So here I've just squeezed out maybe only a third of my black into this square here. And now I'm just gonna make my way around, uh, filling the other colors as I go. So next I have Payne's Gray. So the great thing about doing this is that you can take your paints um, on the go places with you um, instead of having to open a tube every time you want to paint. You can just get out your palette and uh, open it up and add some water, just a dab or two to each of your each of the colors that you're planning to use. And again, I'm not using this all up, so I'll just store this off on a shelf in my house. And then when I need more paint, it's a simple matter of adding a little more to the top. So here I have violet next. And I'm just going back and forth in like a little zigzag manner here. And this is gonna dry, I'm gonna leave it to dry overnight. I'm just dobbing it in there. If you wanted them to settle, you could tap them down a little bit just to get them all in those areas. Or you could even take like the opposite end of a brush and just sort of work it to the very edges of your little section. If you don't feel like it's just gonna stick very well, but it should, that's what these are made for. So you can do it that way. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on doing this. I'll do it in time lapse, because you don't need to see me do them all, but you might want to. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy watching my uh, watercolor Wednesdays. We do like to do some various watercolor projects and uh, if you have any requests then please mention so in the comments section. Please click like if you liked watching me create this video and subscribe for more doodle draw art. Alright, so that's it. So now all of these little tubes of paint can get filed away in a box somewhere and I don't need to get them out very often. You can see that I didn't add the white in here and the reason is that I don't use white in a watercolor fashion. I use it more as a gouache for just a few little highlights when I'm finished my work and I use it pure right out of the tube, not diluted and if I put it on here I'll have to add water to be able to use it. So. Uh, the white will not be added in here, but now whenever I want to work, um, I can take this with me anywhere I want to go. It's got a nice little thumb hole here for um, for holding my palette. It's got some brush, um, some places I can set brushes in, and it's got places here where I could mix and use water and lots of other spots here if I want to add more colors later. So there you have it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.